your PC is slowing down, high memory usage, high CPU usage, browser is opening automatically new windows without your permission, your PC is not responding at all. These are all the symptoms that boils down to an infected computer. Hello friends, Saki Bali from the Tech World. We will be talking about in this video about the antivirus protection in your Windows PC. With the latest version of Windows operating system, Windows 10, should we install an antivirus software that is third party? I think answer is no. Threats from the internet are increasing, not day by day, not hour by hour, even not minute by minute, but every second. What antivirus to use? Free or paid version? Free version, there are many benefits associated with it with a free version. If you are a novice user, less risk associated with your data, then you should go for the free version. Now we will be talking about the free version. What free version if you are using a Windows 10 operating system? Now if it is decided that you are going for a free version and you are a Windows operating system user, you should go for the Windows Defender that is built in in Windows operating system, especially in the Windows 10. The biggest benefit associated with the Windows Defender is its cost. It's free. The second benefit associated with the Windows Defender is that it doesn't make you annoyed uh, by unwanted pop-ups and dialog windows. Like you should get the paid version with these features, blah, blah, blah. Windows Defender doesn't bother you at all. And the next benefit of using Windows Defender that is actively scanning your files and folder for any malware presence. Uh, protection from the Microsoft Cloud is making the Windows Defender very effective. And the next most influential feature of the Windows Defender is that you need not to update antivirus program because update uh, process of the Windows Defender is associated with a Windows update program. And it provides you with a ransomware protection, parenting controls that keep your children safe online. That's enough for the good stuff. Let's talk about some bad stuff. Many features, many things work only with the Microsoft browser. Microsoft Edge browser. Microsoft's browser is mandatory if you want to use a parental control. If you want browser-based uh, protection against the malware and threats, you have to wait a lot to get your antivirus updated because whenever the Windows update is coming, your antivirus will be updated. Now let's talk about some free alternatives for Windows Defender. Number one is Casper Sky. Casper Sky is a free, very powerful antivirus program. It provides you with other features like password manager, uh, VPN, though it's very limited data. Another option is a Bitdefender. It's a very simple, good performance. It, it provides you with a VPN, 200 MB free data. Next alternative is Avira. Avira provides you 500 MB of VPN, password manager, uh, real-time threat protection, uh, cloud-based threat protection. Another option is malware virus is not actually a antivirus program, a free version. I'm talking about the free version, but it malware buyers with Windows Defender. This combo will provide you a complete protection program. And the last is Avast. Don't go ever for Avast because Avast and related products are stealing your data. Now at the end, let's have some final thoughts. If you are a device user, you should go for the Windows Defender with malware bytes, a best combination. If you think your data is not so precious, uh, you can manage with the backups, you can manage with the external hard drive backup or cloud backups, uh, then you uh, should go for the free version Windows Defender with the free version malware bytes that will protect your system entirely. That's all for this video. In the next video, we'll be talking about how to set up Windows Defender for your Windows 10 machine. Me, Sakewale, signing off. Take yourself, very good care of you. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.